House reiterates that the entire state of Jammu and Kashmir, including the territory under illegal occupation of Pakistan, is and shall always be an integral part of India. Any attempt from any quarter to interfere in the internal affairs of India will be met resolutely and with complete unity of our nation. This was the Indian Parliament's response to Pakistan's National Assembly and its resolution on Thursday. That resolution had condemned Afzal Guru's execution and sought the return of his body to his family in Kashmir. The government's first reaction was to mildly chide Pakistan. They are assembly, they should address matters of their country and they should uh, let us address matters of our country. But a few hours later, all political parties had united in parliament to demand a tougher response. Yesterday's resolution seems to have confirmed our worst fears. We should uh, seriously forget uh, discussing any serious issue with them through a structured dialogue. Once all political parties had united, the UPA government too got the message and delivered it to its neighbor. Our peace process has to be based on commitments that have been made about not using Pakistani territory to inflict injury upon India. While Parliament told Pakistan to back off on Kashmir, Pakistan's resolution also cast a shadow over sporting ties. The government called off a hockey series scheduled for April. If uh, the respect and dignity of the country is being compromised and the tour has to be called off, so be it. I have no regrets on it. Ties have been strained since January when two Indian soldiers were killed and dishonored on the line of control. Since then, there have been attacks in Hyderabad and Srinagar. India sees a Pakistani hand in both. This latest provocation will further reduce PM's room for engagement with Pakistan. The Prime Minister just days ago had told Parliament that ties with Pakistan cannot be normalized as long as terror continues. For the moment though, even confidence building, the first step to normalizing ties isn't working. With Parul in New Delhi, Maria Shakil.